Hey, what's up? So, I want to show you um, a short video about um, a transformer I winded by myself. Um, so, I am planning to build a um, Tesla coil a VTTC uh, with the GU81M. Uh, and these tubes need uh, around 12.6 volts uh, on their filament. So, I don't have a transformer that, um, yeah, have that voltage and also that um, power because I need around 10 amps to 12 amps to power up the filament of this tube. So, um, yeah, I want myself a transformer uh, with, I think, 3.6 or 3.8 um, millimeter diameter wire so uh, i figured out the voltage i'm on uh, i switch it on i'm at 12.8 12.9 volts that's okay because um, i don't have a big load on it so uh, but i wonder um, how it's going on the load because yeah the voltage is okay, but on the load, because this, that's a crappy transformer I want by myself, I want to check um, if its um, voltage is um, stable on the load. So I connected my ampere meter and my voltage meter here, and I had the idea um, to use a graphite rod that's uh, it's graphite for for uh, standard pens at work. So these rods have a um, resistance to them. So now I have about uh, I think four centimeters. So when I switch it on, I can see it draws about yeah. 2 amps rising up. I think it's rising up to about 3 amps soon when it's get hotter. So and I have my voltage on 12.8 volts. That's okay for the tube. So we're rising up. But okay, that's not enough. That's um, 3 amps. I want to get to 10 or 12 amps and look how the voltage um, is um, going down and I don't want to go down oh it's glowing red already um, I don't want to go down under 12.5 12.4 volts because these uh, tubes do want to need a stable voltage um, around 12.6 volts so now I moved it, these clamps a little bit closer together, so now we can look how it's um, draw more current. Switch it on, so we're already in a cold state. Three amps, uh, it's rising up. I'm on the voltage of uh, voltage drops down, but it's okay. There we have 4 amps, it's glowing a bit, a little bit more, uh, but don't want to rising. I think I have connection problems, I, I see it, it's glowing a little bit uh, brighter on the clamp. So I have to move a little bit more together and uh, clamp them down with um, extra clamps. So now I think the resistance is really low now. We have <laughs> it's a little bit less my than my fingertip. Switch it on again. Waiting to heat up. Uh, but there can be much more. Let's 
when I clamp this a little bit together. Okay, now we have uh, over 5 amps here, uh, dropping down because of connection problems. I mean, I have a obviously low voltage, I need a good connection. Ooh, now it's rising. <laughs> okay, that's fail. It's melting. <laughs> After my first fail, I now try it uh, with two rods. It's a little bit tricky because they are round and these clamps don't clamp even. <laughs> but uh, I think I get it to work. So my probes are on. I'll switch it on. And look how it rises. I think we only have a short moment before they melt. Let's see the voltage at uh, at the right load. Oh, there we have it. Twelve point six. Whoops! <laughs> it melts again. Yeah, we have it. Twelve point six uh, volts. <laughs> a short moment um, when I reach it. Ten amps. So, in this case, I know this transformer is good for my application and it's don't even hand warm because it's, it's a really big one. <laughs> so, have a nice day. Bye-bye.